Hey you two, this is Super Zemis and welcome to another special bonus episode of Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon. <coughs> Alright, this is the third part of the hard dungeon and, well, I told you I'd make it up to Naga and, <coughs> excuse me, and I got him below 10,000 HP. Also, I opened this chest, um, don't worry about it, all, it is in, all that's in there is a bunch of crappy chop ham armor, so don't worry about it. Anyway, now that Naga's below 10,000 HP, we should go and finish him off. Hmm. Nelbo, why don't you do the... <coughs> oh, you're kind of low on it. MP there, huh? <clears throat> Alright, we want to get some MP back on them. There we go. And why don't we... <coughs> What's... I don't know what's wrong with me. I have something in my throat or something. Anyway, you have the honors. Let's use Halligazer. Boom! Alright. Um, Twinhead, do whatever you need to do. We're getting there. We're getting to the end. Good tentacle. Why doesn't that sound right? Tentacle. Ugh. Naga's a porn star. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm kidding, viewers. All right. So, Bu, why don't you do something here? Use some dark hits, I guess. Yep. Just show off, Naga. Gosh, I really hope I finish this up. Now, obviously, I will be, um, editing out, um, most of the, the rest of the battle, being that, well, all the rest of the enemies have a crap ton of HP, and it'll take ages until one of them get below 10,000, so, hence why I went, um, off-screen and I got Naga below 10,000. Ah, crap, more tentacle. Alright, Salamando, do what you have to do. Yeah, he's been attacking Schwarzen. All the all of them are just crowding around Salmando, so we don't need to worry about any well any pain. Which is nice. Alright, and Mist, since Bu didn't finish off Naga, why don't you have why don't you do it? Alright, just deal over 3,000 damage and you'll be good. Okay, Dark Tower. Dark Smash, and Dark Pulse. Alright, here we go. Oh, and there, also after we beat Naga, there's some good equipment we can get right after this that I'll be showing off. Alright, got Naga, and we get a, a Royal Drug, I guess that's okay, but the Power Suit, eh, not really good right now. But yeah, we finally beat Naga. That's it's good. And Mate Light, you're just there. Well, I guess you just chillax there, I guess. Nothing really you can do. Let's see what everyone does. Moth Queen use Breathwing. I just like it that they're all crowding around Salmando. It just that that's the strategy you need to do. Huh, Magma Storm. Whenever I think Magma Storm, I think of Magma Man from Mega Man 9 now. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. They really increase the difficulty. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just, it's more difficult than the past Mega Man games. At least it's not as bad as Mega Man X6. Oh, X6 is, whoo, that's a tough one. Yeah, but Mega Man 9, I mean, I... I just started playing it, and I I think this is one of my favorite in the series. I mean, not my all-time favorite in the in the series, but um, sure is it is sure is up there. I mean, Mega Man Nine's pretty good. <coughs> anyway, Inferno, Inferno the Lion, nah, nah. All right, let's see here. Now what we want to do is we want to start moving up this way. So Mist. Yeah, chillax right there. And, well, we'll get a refresh for my straight. Let's fast forward through that. 
good. All right, Bew, I want you to start moving up as well. And I want you to use Thunder Hit right there and open this up. Watch this. All right. Now, we, this is, the other two passages, don't worry about them. There's not really that good of equipment in there, but this passage that I just opened up. It has really good equipment. Really good. Alright, so, like, right here, don't worry about these chests, or these chests, there's nothing good in them. I mean, not terrible, but not really that great. But in here, we have probably the greatest stuff, so I'll be showing that off. Uh, let's see, Zora, I want you to start moving up, and I want you to cast White Drug on the Poison Swamp. Right there would be good. So that way we can start crossing without having to worry about getting poisoned. Alright. Nobo, how far can you move? Not that far. Good, Twin Hands backing up. Sendok, I want you to move up as well. And Mate Light, you can move up. Alright, let's just fast forward through there for the turn. There's not going to be anything that important anyway. Da 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 Fast forward! Ah, this is taking a while. Alright, got there. Now what we want to do is we want to go up this way. And we can open up these chests. Let's see what's in here. What do we find in this chest? Four dreadnoughts. That is right. More of the paid. <laughs> yes. We're going to want to equip that. Let's see. Miss. I'm not going to list this in the video description, because you want to just equip it on the people who don't have um, Dreadnoughts. You'll have enough to equip on everyone, so Dreadnought and Dreadnought. Alright, good. There we go. Mist, I also want you to start moving up as well. I don't want you to go into the Poison Swamp, because I don't want you to, well, get poisoned. That wouldn't be good. Mate Light, move up. Zora, move up. Nelbo, move up. And Sendok, move up. Alright, fast forward. We all know this song and dance. You know how that song and dance goes. Anyway. They're gonna still just go and attack Salamando. Now, this is the tricky part, viewers. I mean, okay, not not this part, but after I open these chests, all right? Wait, wait, I may want to, let's see, you have a Dreadnought. You have a Sharn Horse. We want to equip the Dreadnought on you. So Palpalios has one, and Rush Ahuris has a Dreadnought. All right, there we go. And let's end turn right there. And we get four Iron Dukes. Now, it would be good if Thunder was still alive, but Thunder is not. We'll at least equip one, equip one on Barclay. So Barclay gets an Iron Duke, and... Okay, might as well just put it on me. Like, why not? Let's see, uh, nope. Taicho, or... Wait, Taicho, we want to give you an Iron Duke. Gunso an Iron Duke. And that's good. Alright, so, Mist, we want you to open up this chest, and we get nothing good. Well, that wasn't good. Well, anyway, let's start moving up again. Zora, chillax right there. Nilbo, right there. And Sendok, move up right there. And Maylight, move up. There we go. Now, fast forward through this. As long as it takes. Alright, now, this is the tricky part, viewers. We're gonna want to have Bew hang out right there. Have, um, Salmando attack. And we're gonna want Mist to hang out right over here. We do not want them to go over where the action is, where Salamando is. The reasoning behind this is, is that if we win over here, well, 
we get we we die. That's all there is to it. So we want to just stay away from everything. We're gonna want our mages to go up, uh, go up to attack them. So let's just stay away from the, our our um regular attackers. Let's keep them away from the enemy territory. Let's have them go and attack. And what we're gonna want to do is have Sendok especially go up there. And we want to summon Alexander a lot. So, might as well get that started. Fast forward through all this, because it's not really important. We've already seen all this so much. Okay, good. Sendok, we want you to start moving up there. And if you can reach with Alexander, which I doubt you can right now. You can reach Judith, but I don't want to waste all that MP just for that. So, let's wait for that. Zora, I want you to stay right there. Yeah, stay right there. And Nelbo, I want you to be right there. Ah, crap. Now Twinhead's gonna aggro them. That's not good. Alright, and then we want to end our turn here because... Well, we don't want our regular attackers to go and attack them. Okay. Fast forward through all this. Do 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 Sorry this is taking a while, viewers, but... Well, I'm doing the hard dungeon, and I said I would do this, and I will beat this. I swear by it. It's just this part is the hardest part of the uh, hardest part of the dungeon, being that they all crowd around Salamando, and we don't want to get our butts kicked. All right, good, good. Now, what we want to do for this turn, we're gonna want Sendok to get not too close, but close enough to be able to summon Alexander and get enough of them. Maybe if I went one more up, summon Alexander right here. All right, we can get all of them. So right there, and we want to get Alexander to get all of them. So I'm going to do that right now. All righty then. Let's see how much damage I get. Yeah, look at that damage. That's, that's going to be your main source of damage, the summoning. Alright, that's good. Now, I have a bad feeling Mooney Mooney's going to go up there and get them angry. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, fast forward to that. That's not going to help. So let's see. Zora, I want you to stay on the sidelines in case they need healing. I do not want our dragons to die. And then... Nelbo... Alligator. No, I don't want Nelbo to get... Nelbo is too close to the action. I don't want her to get too close to the action. And let's end phase right there, because I don't want my um, physical attackers to be up there just yet. Okay, let's see here. Poison powder. Isn't that a move in Pokemon? I don't know. Hey, I played Pokemon as much as the next kid in the, on the block when I was a kid, but... Well, I am still am a kid, but... When I was a little kid, I played it as much as the next guy, but... Alright, now, I mean, I started growing out of it. Ah, no big deal. Alright, now what we want to do is... Now that the Moth Queen moved... We're not gonna be able to hit them all, so... Alexander's just gonna have to suffice with those four, which is okay, I mean... It's okay. Alright. So summon Alexander there. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Get Electron there, I guess. Zora, you're there for the sidelines. And Nelbo, sidelines. And end phase. Salamander's still the point of action. Now, at this point, you're just gonna have to start being patient with the game. We're These guys have a lot more HP than the Naga. A lot more. So what we want to do is we want to go. You're just gonna have a lot. Have to have a lot of patience now. Yeah. Instead of using quick, some of them, are, the Judiths are gonna start using white drug to heal the King of Pain. But yeah, now you're just gonna have a, have to have a lot of patience at this point because it's gonna take a while for these guys to get down below 9,000. So I am going to pause the video here and I will be right back when. One of them is, well, near us, and it's below 10,000 HP. So, as soon as one of them gets below 10,000, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I got this Judith under 10,000 HP. So, 
I've been using Alexander on them the whole time, so... And Twinhead got awfully close, but thankfully they didn't attack him. They just kept attacking Salamando. Which, that, this... It's the rest of the whole dungeon. This dungeon actually requires a little bit of luck to actually get through it as well. So, I'm actually in pretty good shape now, and... If this Judith's under 10,000, that means these guys right here, because I've been attacking them the most... They're probably near death as well, so that's good. Alright, so let's see here. I want Zora now to start attacking, if we can get Big Burst there. Alright, I can reach that Judith, so that's good. Boom! Alright, alright, now it's below 8,000. Molten, do what you have to do. Sky's Rage works. Good. And I don't want... And, as usual, I do not want my regular attackers to go and attack. This dungeon actually... Magic's probably their, your best bet in this dungeon, so that's good. Alright, at least... If I can at least get that Judith dead, I'll probably be able to finish this battle up in the next episode. Hopefully. Sure hope so, I don't know. Maybe if I made it an extra long episode, I could probably finish it today, but I don't want to make it too long. I don't, I don't like making things extra long. That, that, that go, the only time I make it long is if it's for the, um, finales. And this isn't not, this is not a finale. Alright, that, the Alexander range looks pretty good. I should be able to get good damage in. Let's see. Boom, boom, bleh! Alright. Alright, uh, alright, 4,000 HP left. Getting closer, getting closer. Terra break, that works. Alright, 3,000 HP left. I should be able to be finishing this up. Heligazer! Alright, come on. Alright, 1,994 damage left. Let's see. Alright! Alright, almost dead, almost dead. Zora, can you finish this off? Let's see. Uh, I don't want Zora to get too close. We're getting awfully close. So, Zora, why don't you just stand back there and use Big Burst right there. Die! Alright, got Judith. And we got a Dreadnought, but that's not really useful right now. But we got Judith. Alright. Now there's only four four guys left. One more Judith. Oh! Oh, and Schwarzen's now below 9,000. Alright! See what that Judith's still over ten thousand. That Queen, a Moth Queen's still over ten thousand. All right, all right. I should be able to finish off Shores in them. All right, end phase right here. Do something there, Salamando. All right. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Now they're attacking those guys. All right, do some good damage. Blow through this, cause I'm almost done. All right. So now I should be able to finish off Schwarzen in this battle. Let's see here. Yep, I should be able to finish him off. Let's see. Field summon. Wait. Uh, maybe I should... Ah, uh, nah, I should be fine. Alexander! Alright, let's see. Alright, a little over 4,000 left now. I should be good. Mooney Mooney, you, that's not gonna help. Uh, so let's see, um, Nobo, why don't you go Armageddon? Yeah, let's change it up. Let's use Armageddon this time. Boom! Ultima! Alright. Alright, almost dead, almost dead. Let's see, Zora, why don't you... Ooh, you're low on MP. May want to fix that. Magic Jins go and I bet you can reach with big burst come on reach and die all right 289 Salamando should be able to finish him off all right here we go end phase Salamando finisher fight him to death that's it and we got Schwarzen now there's only three enemies left a Judith the Moth Queen and the King of Pain will we be able to finish them why am I giving a cliffhanger when it's a bonus episode? I don't know. But, anyway, that ends this episode of... Oh, crap. Well, I think that... No, no, still alive, still alive. Live, 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 live. All right.
Alright, doing good, doing good. I'm gonna wanna heal this up. Well, anyway, my mages lived after that. Might wanna heal up. But, we'll take care of that next time. Um, in the next episode of... the ne Next episode should... Next episode should be the last bonus episode for the hard dungeon. I will be finishing up next episode, so... Now that Moth Queen is right here, and... Well, there's only a few enemies left. I'm gonna get off screen next time. I'm gonna get Moth Queen down below 10,000 HP. So, that's for next time. So, Moth Queen's gonna be below 10,000 HP, and I'll finish up the hard dungeon. So, this is Super Zemus, and I'll, well, see you when I finish up the hard dungeon. Have a good one.